Yo, what's up, y'all? We out here yet again, trying to get three degrees buffer in these streets, making moves. You know, trying out some new things out here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, little construction going on over here. Got the backdrop going on, a lot of stuff going on. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about this paper, which is at 17 pages right now. It's kind of wild, it's kind of crazy. But it's coming together. It's coming together. I got a smile on my face because I can feel it. I can see it. <sighs> Changing the perspective from starting with the Old Testament in mind and trying to fit in the New Testament and flipping it to New Testament story and how does the Old Testament inform that was the game changer. I wasn't even sure I was thinking about this paper all throughout the day. I didn't. I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of time after getting off work to put into it, um, but I couldn't remember the flow. It was it was hard for me while I was at work to think of, man, do I do I know what I'm doing? Do I know what the next step is? And sure enough, I came back home, was able to check it out and it's there. It's there. Um, right now, I've been beefing up that middle piece, Isaiah 59, 20 through 60, uh, verse three. And I could use a little bit more there, I think, but that piece as the transition is going to work out really well. Um, it's, it's, it's the perfect bridge to connect everything from the Old Testament to launch right off into the New Testament part of it. And uh, using it as that connecting piece, I'm gonna be able to pull from that and be referring to all the other Old Testament covenants while going through the New Testament part. It's gonna draw in really nicely. So right now, I've laid out my steps. Like I said, didn't have too much time to get into it tonight, and I have to get to sleep early because I gotta wake up early, the grind don't stop. But I have my, my layout for my plan tomorrow. I'm up to 4,000 words, another two, two or 3,000 more to go. <laughs> yeah, we out here. But what I'm going to do now, after talking about this Isaiah piece, is well first beef it up a little bit more as i said but the next piece is just talking about kind of setting up the stage for what the the jewish life and culture what their world was like at the time of christ and then kind of fast forwarding to uh contrast with the time of acts and then getting into the story from there obviously i'm not trying to give a full recap of the gospels because this paper would be a whole lot longer than it needs to be but as long as I can set the stage and kind of show how um, there were still this, that the same struggles that God's people were dealing with in the Old Testament, they were experiencing in the beginning of the New Testament from the leadership down to the people, misunderstanding who God was, the purpose of the, the blessings. Um, there's a lot there. And I just need to set that stage up to knock the doors off with the story of Peter and Cornelius. Uh, so it's exciting. End of the week. It's a little bit more feasible if I can get even just a, a few more hundred words a day. <laughs> but it should start to flow a little bit faster after uh, tomorrow if I get this middle part beefed up and then this transition really well. I have a lot of really good sources I can use to refer in this part of the paper as well. So I think that's going to turn out really well. Really well, really well, really well, really well. Yes, I said that a million times. I'm excited about it and I think it's going to do really well. But yes, that is a short update. Um, and I think that's all I want to talk about right now. So I'm going to leave it there because, like I said, time is short and I got things to do. So more to come later when I have more time, which will probably come after this paper is done. But I'll see you when I get there. All right. Until next time. Peace.